Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. Well, told you we do a lot of buying and selling on eBay. Got another package in today. Once again, like a Christmas present. Don't know what it is till we open it, so do the eBay label there. See what we got here. case. Nook color. All right. There it is. There it is. Opens up right there. There it is. All right. I'm going to take this out and get it going here, okay? All right. Let's see what it what we got here. There's the nook color. Looks like it's got a screen on the front of it, a protector screen. Okay. Play that right there. Welcome to Nook Color, the quick start guide. What do we have here? This must be the charger and all. trouble getting it out of the box here. There we go. There's your charger cable. Right there. That's ready to go. wonder if there's any charge in this. Hey, yeah. There's something on here. Let's see what this is. Skip the video. Select your time zone. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Central time, right there. Checking connection. Please wait a moment. <clears throat> Select the wireless. There we go. Right there. That's my wireless. Connect. Opening IP address, continue with setup. Network problem. Don't think we really need to do a register your device because I don't think they use it anymore. Usually when it won't register like that, it needs a software update, so we'll show you how to do that. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, to update your software, go to barnesandnoble.com. See, we're there, but it takes it a few minutes to load. This is a busy page. See up in your top right corner that word help? Click on that. It'll open another page. Give it just a second here. There we go. Okay, the second one down there, it says having trouble connecting with your Nook. Click on that. All right, scroll down till you find all the nooks. See right there, it tells you different versions of software. There they are. See where it says the color? Download. Click on that. Give it a few minutes. It'll download. It's a rather large file. It'll download to your PC. Now, you need to have your nook connected. Okay? 
See, there's the file it downloaded. Connect your NUC with your charging cable to your USB port. And what we're going to do is send file to or send to and your NUC right there. It'll send the file over to your NUC. Leave it alone. Don't mess with it because it's going to take a few minutes and then it's going to update. It'll do it all for you. Just sit back and watch it. You'll get a new screen. We'll show you that in just a minute when it's done. Now we're going to add a book. Open up your NUC. You've still got it connected. So click on the Internet your Explorer here. Come down to NUC. Open the NUC. Open My Files and Books. That's where you're going to put your book. Now over here on your computer, I've got a book already. There's two files. It must be a .epub file. The other is a JPEG. That's the front screen, the front uh, cover. So click on those. Just drag them over there and let it go. And it will load the files onto your book, your e-reader. And you're ready to start reading. Show you how to open it up here in just a minute. Okay, we're going to show you how to add a memory card. Now, the the e-reader comes with 8 gigabytes, but you can add up to a 32 gigabyte micro card, SD card. And it looks like this, the little small cards. Now, I've already got some books on here, so we'll show you how to do it. Turn you over. We've got to lay it on some napkins so we don't scratch it, okay? Now, right there in the bottom right corner where it says Nook, flip that little thing up. That's the door. Take your card, set it right in there, and just slide it right in there. Right there. See how it just slips right in until it clicks. Close your little door, and there's your memory card. So we'll show you how to get into the reader here in just a minute and read a book. Okay, we're going to show you how to open a book and start reading it. You've already got it turned on. We've got our memory card in it. We put a book over there, so right there. Open that up, right there. Click on your button here at the bottom. It's, they call it an N, but I don't know. It looks like a little button, so click that. See where it says Library? Right there. If it's not already there, click on books, okay? Just pick one of your books, like right there. It'll open that book for you. There you go. You can either touch the side and it'll move, or you can scan it, either one. Touch the left side and it backs up. See there? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And um, it may or may not be good size font for you. So what we're going to do is touch the screen, and right there you can right there you can change go to any page you want to. But see the the A's right there where it says text. Tap on that. See the different sizes of font. Watch here. See how the font got real big. You can lower it back down. That's usually about where I keep it, right there. So click that and it'll go away. You're ready to read the book. Okay. All right. I'm going to go to chapter one, right there. And we're ready to read the book. Okay. This is a lot of fun. I read a lot of books on this, so let's get started. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.